Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Not So Very Challenge. This is the 20th episode, and um, I did want to have this episode start off with a bang. Um, and well, unfortunately, my uh, voice, like, over, vo what is it called? Voiceover that w I was doing over the original video um, got like, I don't know what happened really, but like, it was just terrible and muffled. Um, you'll notice either way, as I'm doing like this current voiceover, uh, and that there's somebody missing in the household. Um, in fact, uh, there's someone missing and we've got quite a few of our Sims that are in a terrible, uh, mood, uh, and you'll see quite a terrible <laughs> mood lit. Um, so yes, Shannon did actually end up dying in the, uh, in this, like, what do you, like, in this episode where my volume and voice just decided that it wasn't gonna, like, record properly. And of course, like, such a beautiful episode, like, there's still some, um, like, audio to the, uh, like, clip, the original clip. So I'm gonna put the original clip in. Um, but just like an FYI that the music to like audio ratio is really bad. So let's quickly cut over to our beautiful, beautiful Shannon getting murdered viciously by yours truly. <laughs> so hopefully he gets electrocuted and dies. Um, as you can tell, I've been craved <laughs> of, of, um, I don't think he will because he has like a high handy. Yeah, he's not going to. But I've been deprived of Sims for the last little bit. Um, can't already kind of determine that. Oh! Wait, is he actually gonna die? Oh, he didn't. Well, you know what? Just repair it right after. And let's see if you die, because... Die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, and look how terrible the kitchen is. Oh no. Oh no. Um, well. Um, so yeah. Uh, as you saw. <laughs> We had a beautiful, beautiful death of Shannon, um, and it was wonderful. So anyways, uh, back to our scheduled day-to-day uh, -day with Lido and her beautiful daughters. Um, we're just going to completely move on from the fact that Shannon's dead, and we're going to live on with our lives. So all I did in this episode was uh, just hang out with the kids, make sure that I got all their teachings done, um, and make sure that I got, like, all the toddlers to, uh, get their skills and stuff like that. And then we hung out with Rue as well, and I tried to make her hang out with our friend Lisa. So, as in the bottom corner, you'll see, like, this little face in the bottom right of the, um, screen of her friends. And that is Lisa, what's her name? D1? Yeah. So, Lisa D1, um, frankly, I don't know if she's a boy or girl. I think I was about to give her a makeover. I'm pretty sure she's a boy because her name's or, or a girl, sorry, because her name's Lisa. But I don't know. I think the hair is unisex in The Sims 3, so I didn't really know. Um, so this girl right here is going to be our like best friend. I'm thinking, um, and perhaps like future lover. Who knows? Um, so Lisa, they met in school. Her and Rue. And here I'm just, like, fixing her hair because it was giving, like, that green tinged. Uh, she's athletic, over-emotional, technophobe, and um, they hung out a little bit. Uh, I think my headcanon for uh, Rue is that she is kind of a mean girl. Um, and, uh, like, she's going to be, like, the, like, typical mean girl kind of situation uh, because she has that mean-spirited trait. And she was quite rude and, like, mean to Lisa, but, like, she still kind of was able to, um, I guess, take take it. And so I'm giving Lisa a little bit more of, like, a sporty look just because she's athletic. 
Um, but I think when they both age up, I'm going to give them the, uh, like, a little bit more of, like, a mean girl kind of best friend duo situation. And I did all of this editing of her, Lisa's, like, outfits. And then it ended up being that it wasn't even, like, her everyday wear. Or, sorry, her, like, outdoor wear. Um, and that was just me showing the grave. So, yeah. Uh, she ends up playing with Lisa a little bit. And they just do friendly things. Um, I'm not really sure what happens next in the episode. Let's find out together. Uh, I think that I wanted to throw a party or something. And check and make sure that... Uh, uh, Lido was still friends with all her people um, because that's part of the uh, what do you call it conditions for the not so berry um, I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna quickly read out not so berry for um, what's her name rue okay so rue is the regeneration or rose she's gonna have everything she desires as a kid and she's gonna always long for more i'm gonna have her have a teen pregnancy because she's only supposed to have the one kid and um you will see here that she as an adult has a hard time committing to relationships because she's so focused on her career so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have that kind of tie in with the fact that her parents were divorced uh, and uh, her dad cheated and then her dad passed away um, so she's going to have that hard time with relationships uh, and that's why i think i'm thinking that her like teen pregnancy is going to be the only way that we're going to get a kid out of her because by the time that she's an adult she's going to need the dislikes children trait and then when they have the dislikes children's trait they're not going to have kids like i think they i don't know if it's like the chances are just really low or if like they actually won't do the interaction which makes sense because if someone doesn't want children they're going to do everything in their power not to have children so i think so yeah that's what i'm i think i'm thinking of doing and then the next part is going to be that you have absolutely no maternal paternal instincts whatsoever but you still love the child with all your heart um, and I think that'll just be like an interesting relationship between the two of them. So her traits are going to be mean-spirited, dislikes children, irresistible, workaholic, great kisser. Uh, we already have a bunch of those. Her aspiration is going to be the master romancer, and she is going to be a politician. She's going to have one kid. She's going to master the political career and complete the master romancer aspiration, master charisma. She's going to break off an engagement, which I think probably what we can do is with that child, um, like her teen relationship, perhaps like she'll break off the relationship with them and then get married for the first time as an elder perhaps to her friend lisa i feel like that would be such a cute like relationship arc um anyways so yeah um and we'll we'll get started with the um actual part of the episode when we're doing the party uh yes the entire time i was talking there we all we did was start a party for the girls um, me and May to age up, you'll notice that I put the cake down, like, immediately. And that is because I have a pet peeve, a really big pet peeve, okay? Uh, in The Sims 3, you, when you are aging up toddlers, it's actually so annoying. You'll notice, like, the amount of times that I have to just, like, wait for her to get to the cake. And this is in two times speed, right? Like, it's just so annoying. It gets worse with... I don't remember if it's Mia or if it's May that I'm aging up right now, but it gets worse with, w worse with the second kid that I age up in that it takes her like five years to get the kid to the cake, and it's I, I find it so annoying. So unlike in real life when you would probably wait to like the end of the party for someone to blow out their cake and like after you have like, or blow out their candles, I do it immediately in the party because I find it so annoying. Um... And also, like, the other piece to it is that the Sims end up going home super early. Uh, so, yeah, we have Mia aging up. She got the technophobe trait. And we're about to age up May. And you'll see what I mean by May. Like, I think it takes, like, a good five minutes before I actually am able to get her to the cake. <laughs> um, uh, I'll talk about, though, what Rue was doing this entire time during the party. So, Rue, she was actually talking to this kid, Faisal. I think he's one of the bald kids. The one that's taking the cake right now. Because um, there's two bald kids for some reason. And he is, like, in her opportunities. She got the opportunity to befriend him. And I think it, like, either increases her charisma or something. Or something like that. Like, it's just one of those opportunities, right? 
Um, so anyways, when I, uh, have her, like, have a relationship with him or whatever, like, to get the opportunity, I'm thinking, like, it's probably part of her mean girl, um, rule of the world, rule the world kind of interests of her wanting to, um, like, be the p most popular girl of, in school or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I think that's probably why. And then, uh, May just got the friendly trait. I think that's what it was. Um, yeah. Uh, so after I age them up, I believe I just give them makeovers because they desperately, desperately long for makeover. Um, I think we started, what did we start off with? May? Is that May? We're about to find out. Um, yeah, heavy sleeper, uh, friendly, and te uh, d dislikes swimming. So here is May, our beautiful little girl. She is the one that had longer hair, I believe. So, no, I might be wrong. Um, let's see. Yeah, she's the one that had longer hair. So I, I want to keep her longer hair. I also, like, wanted to keep her braid, uh, theme just kind of going throughout. Her favorite color is black. So the way that I decorate my sims is that I always try to, like, incorporate their favorite color in some way. And then I try to, um, incorporate, like, their personality as well. Um, so for May, I'm doing, like, this kind of, like, darker shirt color. Uh, but it's still kind of colorful because she is still a child. And, um, I think, like, it's, for me, I really do enjoy, um, giving kids kind of, like, awkward looking clothing because they're still kids right like and like they they're probably like mostly dressing themselves at this point so like they're not like f super great at, at like I don't know fashion so I don't like try too hard to give them like the most fashionable items of clothing unless it's like really tied to their personality and then for Mia uh she had shorter hair as a toddler so I'm assuming like she probably just likes having shorter hair so I'm choosing to give her shorter hair as well um and you'll notice as well I only do like their everyday their um their everyday their formal wear and their sleepwear because like 80% of the time I'm only gonna see their everyday and their sleepwear that being said thinking back to um like my actual gameplay I'm pretty sure that I should probably start also doing their outerwear because that would be another one that actually like shows up in the gameplay oh okay I did her outerwear but I don't think I did Mia's outerwear I'm getting confused by which one's me and which one's me. I didn't do the other sister's outerwear, the one with the long hair. Um, or unless I'm, like, actually, like, going crazy and I did do her outerwear and I just didn't see it. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's just finish up with, uh, doing her, um, sleepwear. I think her favorite color was, like, brown or something. And then I believe I go ahead and decorate their room. Unless we're just gonna move on and, and finish up the party. Oh, I already decorated their room. My bad. Uh, so yeah, now Rue has her own room. The girls have their own room. We're finishing up the party. I'm deleting all the bits and pieces that require, like, uh, like toddler things. I gave Rue's room a makeover because I feel like she's a little bit older child now. She's not, like, a small child. So for her, probably, like, she would want a room makeover, especially as her sisters are got have gotten older, too. Uh, it's probably, like, she's, like, in the next step of her life, and she's like, I want a double bed now, mommy. I want a double bed. Because I'm imagining that she's kind of a snob. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, I hate this. Uh, I also discovered that we have coffins, or whatever that thing was. I've never played with vampires in The Sims 3. Actually, that's a lie. I played with um, supernatural vampires in The Sims 3. But I've never played with uh, late night vampires. I don't know how different they are. And that being said, when I played with supernatural vampires, that was when I, I believe like I was like, I don't know like 12. I was young when I played The Sims 3 Supernatural. Like, this is many, many, many years ago. Um, and so I don't actually remember it very well. I have fond memories of The Sims 3 Supernatural uh, and playing it, but 
it was definitely not as fun. Like, it's not like my style of gameplay, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. And it was the only pack that I was, like, I got at that time. Because I thought it would be fun, but I was wrong, unfortunately. Uh, so, when, like, as a kid, when I was playing The Sims 3, I loved it still. But now that I'm, like, older and I'm able to, like, pick and choose my packs a little bit more, uh, I pick and chose, picked and chose this, like, set of packs. Like, the more family gameplay kind of style of packs. And I like it so much better. Um, I feel like it's so much more like personal to the to the um, characters and stuff. And it's so much more fun to play, in my opinion. Like sometimes Supernatural, especially when it's not done like perfectly, amazingly well. It's like a little bit glitchy or it's not done so great. That's it. Just gets a little bit annoying to play. And that's it for me, folks. Um, this episode's a little bit shorter, unfortunately. And, uh, it, like, it's just, it's because of the volume being weird that I am truly upset about having to cut this video shorter. I had to, like, put it in two times speed. And then there wasn't really much to say when I was, like, voicing over. Because I think when I voice over, I probably want, like, film more information rich kind of, like, content versus, like, me just like talking in person but yeah that's the end of this episode i hope you enjoyed it uh in the next episode i'm hoping to get through a little bit more of Rue's life so thank you